Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Part 4 of our adventures into the world of custom modding Lego and Mega Constructs. In the first part we had a tour of Rob's studio going through like how you're custom making your own microchips, Death Star hangar bays, like it's been a real journey. In part 2 we checked out a custom lights and spinning propeller Frost Raven from Halo Wars 2 and in part 3 we checked out a Forge Hog and Banished Ghost also from Halo Wars 2 with lights installed, some randomized lights as well. The Frost Raven, Forge Hog, and Ghost have all been made for Shere Khan, Shere Khan Industries. Subscribe to him on YouTube. He has the Zulu project where he's creating the most monstrous size Halo Wars 2 diorama you've ever seen. He ordered the Frost Raven, Forge Hog, and Ghost, but I wanted to get in on the action as well. So I brought a bag with me today of banished vehicles from Trader Joe's. They just signed a new Halo license. It's a big deal. We're gonna have a look through and hopefully we're gonna figure out what we can kit these out with, right? Sure. Yep. Have a look. I'm a little nervous. First of all, have you played Halo before, Rob? Of course. Everybody of course. has. Who has not played yeah. Halo? So you may be familiar with the Banshee. The, the Banshee. There we go. Of course, the Banshee. We talked a little bit about some of the Halo models, I think, before, mm. and how what I love to look for is I love to look for things like on the Ghost, transparent bits mm. on the model that we can use for engines, that we can use mm. for lasers, we can mm. use for hover things. I don't know, looking at it real quick, if this one is the best one to go with. We don't really have any engines in the back. It's a bit bare bone, to be honest. I don't think this is the best Banshee they've ever made. We could have, yeah, an LED dis yeah, display, you could put under but that. really yeah. the engines, the the turbines are quite limited. So yeah, maybe this is not the best one. I guess the benefit of these sets is they have firing missiles, so you can fit LEDs sure. in there, right? Sure, we but can do that. maybe this is not the best one to start with. Let's put the Banshee aside. All right, well, how about this? We've got another banished ghost. I don't know how much easier it is to custom fit than this one. It's probably gonna be more difficult because there's not as much room. Um, and again, given the limited setup here where you just kind of spring this stuff on me and, and want me to figure it out, I don't know what we can do right now. So maybe yeah. something where we can just put some lights in. We'll save the effects if I can work with some of these after you leave. and then I'll can, leave like, them all with you. Yeah. Report back and then uh, see how it's going. Absolutely. So this is, this is one where we certainly want to get those random effects in there again too, mm. just to make it look more like that. So, if I can take this back to my shop, let's Absolutely. put that one on the list as well. Okay. All right, what else you got? Maybe okay. some balsamic vinegar from Trader Joe's or <laughs> no? Okay. No, it's all about that, uh, what's it called? The everything bagel seasoning. Oh, that's that stuff a... is good. I've got the banished marauder. Okay, now this is better because what I like about this one, just looking at it real quick here, these two lights in front, we can definitely do that probably right now. I've got an idea for the bottom as well, mm. these little transparent bits. Again, we love to look for things that are transparent and glowy, I right? Bet. So why don't we give it a try if you're up for it. Oh yeah, you um, want to do this one? Yeah, let's see what we can do real quick here. I brought a selection of products that we sell that I think might be a good fit for this one. So let's just kind of figure it out really quick here cool. in real time. So And these are all available on brickstuff.com. Like this may seem like a daunting task, but it's actually very easy to kit out at home. Absolutely. We've also got this exosuit. This is like a really easy, simple model. And also this has a lot of nooks and crannies that might yeah, be, might be for easy sure. for you. The chopper, <laughs> we got half a chopper, what half happened? Chopper. And then we also have the skiff intercept, a cut vehicle from Halo Infinite never appeared in the game. Oh, and a little banished phantom on there. there I thought these banished phantoms might be uh, a little, kind of quite easy to fit a little searchlight on, just like a simple single mm -hmm. LED. Absolutely. And what we're gonna be able to do today, I think is just like maybe fit out one with lights, right? Yeah, absolutely. But in the future, I'm gonna leave this all with you and hopefully we can like get some really cool stuff going in the next few months. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to work on this stuff. You can start really simple, then you can add on things later, like effects or mm -hmm. like sound if you wanted to. I mean, I would love to see these things turn. Oh, you could you get know, that turning. Give it a try, like you saw with uh, Frost Raven, we've got really tiny motors, so something we could play with. If it turns, let's motorize it. Absolutely. Now this guy, I think, why don't we just start with this here for today? Mm. So what I'm gonna recommend is, again, our small 
coin cell battery pack that we had seen before for the Banished Ghost, a product that we saw on our website. I've actually taken the liberty of already putting a battery in one of them here so we can get it running quickly. We have some little LEDs. We call them Pico LED lights, and we have them in a whole bunch of different colors on our site. They are four millimeters round, so really tiny circuit boards and wires on them. So you can see actually here's an example of one of the lights. Oh, look at that. That's the light? That's the light, oh, right. So it's super it's small. It's so small. And it's made to fit in a round one by one stud space. So you can put, with the wires being as thin and strong as they are, mm. you can put plates and slopes and bricks and tiles and things right on top of the lights. Do you have see. to put a little glass rim on top of it? You don't have to. Just you exposed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And these right here are special because they're actually, they have a little tiny flickering chip built into them. Yeah. So they'll actually flicker. So I thought we could look at putting them under here and seeing how they make the bottom globes wow. look. Wow. So this, is, this has four slots in, right, for four LEDs. If I plug this in right now, will it just light up? Yeah, go ahead. There's a switch on the board. I think it's off. All so right, here we go. On. Whoa. And there you go. Yes. So you can see it'll flicker. It a does flicker, bit. yeah. Yeah, so I think that might be a good solution for some of these bottom pieces. So if you want to give it a try, why don't we do the back one first? So go ahead and put it right there. Okay. In the juncture of those pieces where yeah. they come together. Actually, right on the upper part, the flat part. Yeah, right, right there. Right. And then I'm going to go ahead and snap this round piece right on top of it and you've got Whoa. the wires there and these wires are pretty versatile right you're not worried about just trapping it in any way i'm not i'm not and that's what a lot of people are worried about when they get started mm -hmm. um they'll say i don't want to break the light or there I we go the but you can see it's in there and wow. then you can run the wire up into the ship and connect I mean, we'd have to look at the ship a little bit closer to see where the best place to put the battery pack would sure. be. You may, you may even decide to put it just underneath if mm -hmm. you're putting it on a flat, on a flat display. Mm. But you can see that's a way yeah. to get that in there. We could do that for the other two. Thinking for the two lights in front here, we would probably just want, again, we have cool white lights, mm -hmm. which a lot of sci-fi builders will use. And we could put, actually, this is a 10 pack. We have them in packs of 10 and packs of two. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a two pack here. You can see they're the same size and the same shape as those flickering yellow ones, mm -hmm. but they have a cool white chip inside, so the color will be different, and these don't flicker. That's amazing, honestly, yeah. Yeah, see, like I said, I haven't seen this model before, yeah, right. so I don't quite know how it's all put together. It's literally just that uh, diagonal piece, yeah. Yeah, so we wanna try to get under that piece. Let's just break this apart. So if you wanna hold that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the light part of the LED mm -hmm. so it's shining upwards. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it that up. <laughs> so the, the ship is... Yeah, we'll have to put it back together. There we go. Easy to do. And now I'm gonna go <laughs> Ignore the mess. But <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Yeah. Oh, actually, I picked flashing white. There we go. I like yeah, that. So we actually have flashing I white I like lights. the flashing white. So what happens if you don't like the actual color? Well, actually, our most popular light color that we sell is warm white because you can put a transparent colored piece or tile or plate over the white light and it'll mm. turn the color. That's good because if you want to take it out later, and use it in a different model. That's actually the most flexible way to get your lights is with uh, warm white or cool white, depending on what kind of build you're creating. Just very strong pieces. We're just cramming them right in there. Yeah, we looked for a long time when we first made our lighting system to try to find lights that were wow. strong enough and wires that were strong enough, but thin to be able to go between plates and between bricks. Look how simple that was. Honestly, I'm trying to convince my viewers that this is a cool thing to do, but I didn't realize it was that easy. <laughs> like, that's actually absurd. Pop this whole battery. Look at that. Two effort, but that it's was not bad. legitimately like less than five minutes. And that's we have bad. flashing lights, and we have that underneath. I would definitely have a set of three. And I'm assuming you can, like, uh, like you said, extend all this out so you, you don't just have to rely on four. You could have, like, like you said, like 16 or something. Exactly. And we go. have a lights marauder with, with almost no. No effort. The sky's the limit, like we were discussing in the last video, on what you can do here. We could have a light up LED display screen for the pilot. We could have a firing gun, even with the sound effects pre installed into a chip. So every time it fired, it literally made the same cannon firing noise as in game. And again, if that's something you'd want to hear, 
your viewers should let us know in the comments because yes. we that's something we can do. We always just want to know what are the top requests mm. from the fan community. Like Rob has mainly done Lego builds in the past, but with Shere Khan Industries, he's been kitting out uh, Halo more and more, right? Mm -hmm. And it's definitely something you would like to do. Maybe even selling custom kits for specific vehicles like the Warthog Rally. I think that's the one that comes to mind. But if you want to let us know in the comments down below what vehicle you would like to see, what kind of effects you would like to see, and if you would even like to see tutorials on how to do this more, I'm going to leave most of my vehicles with Rob now, and we'll see just how far we can take this. Yeah, Rob, thank you very much thank for you. the help today. I'm still just blown away by how easy that was. That is a light marauder, ladies and gentlemen. And it would take another minute to tidy up the lights. And then if you reverse engineered it, you could even just have all the wires running underneath the bricks themselves. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. Thank you for the support on this video series. Check our previous videos left in the comments down below for a light and rotating propellers Frost Raven and a light Forge Hog and Banish Ghost and a tour of this amazing office. So you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the light Marauder is signing off.